In this lecture, we will discuss about step 1. That is, how to audit the information security policy. Before we start step 1, let us understand the data requirements for all these steps. You need to gather all the data beforehand from the audit. Okay. So whatever is required is available in this particular Excel sheet. You can download this master Excel from the resource section. We have named this document as reference document number one. Okay, so now for each step, we have prepared a list of data required. So for example, these are the data field required for step one. Data field for step 2. Similarly, data field required for step 3, step 4 and so on. We will have separate lecture for each of these step. Let us now concentrate on step 1. That is auditing the information security policy. With respect to step 1, we need to have following information name of the policy, who has approved the policy, what is the version number of the policy, what is the latest approval date, whether classification has been labeled and whether version history is being maintained. So these are the basic details required to audit the information security policy. Now please understand, some organization may have only single policy covering all the aspect, whereas some may have different policies for different aspects such as separate password policy, may have separate logical access policy, they may have separate encryption policy and so on. So as an auditor you need to ensure that you take data for all the policies available with the organization. Let us now understand how to evaluate and audit each of this data field. Let us assume that we have received following data set from the audit. Let us now understand how to audit each of these data field. So first element is policy approved by. Ideally information security policy should be approved by board of directors or information security committee. Let us check who has authority to approve this policy. And how do we check this? So mostly this authority will be defined in information security policy of the organization. So you ask your auditee to submit their information security policy as well. So for the purpose of this training, we have designed an information security policy. Let me open this. Okay. So this information security policy is the best template which has been benchmarked with the industry. This template can also be downloaded from resource section. We have named this document as reference document number 2. Now let us see who has the authority to approve the information security policy. So here if you can see policy approval. This policy should be reviewed and approved by board of director. Any exception to the policy is to be approved by CISO. So specifically approval is with board of director. CISO can approve only the exception to this policy. So congratulations. Eureka moment for all the auditors. You just discovered your first audit observation. And what is the observation? Here policy is approved by the CISO. This can be evident from the document properties also. See document approver is CISO but as per requirement it should have been approved by board of director okay so just uh, please ensure 
objective of any audit process is to not to find the fault but to help the organization to improve their processes okay so now what we will do let us highlight the area with non compliance is with red okay so we it will be easiest for us to identify the non compliance and complied areas you can highlight with green now let us simultaneously learn how to draft the audit observation we will use same audit report format that we discussed in our last lecture let me open audit report format for you okay so this is the audit report format that we discussed yesterday okay let us now learn to draft the audit observation as a best practice an audit observation should always have three part first part is requirement always write the requirement first requirement can be from the information security policy or requirement of regulation or requirement of any standard it depends on your audit objective second part is factual position that is your audit observation so once the requirements are identified write down the factual position and last and third part is to write down the nature of evidence from which this fact is derived i hope i am clear this is simple first requirement followed by the factual position followed by the evidence from which you arrived this conclusion requirement factual position and evidence so your drafting can go like this let us understand how to draft an observation serial number 1 domain is information security policy audit observation so as i said first part of the audit observation should be your requirement so I have already drafted this for to save the time. Okay, so this is basically our requirement. If you see the information security policy, this policy should be reviewed and approved by the board of director. Any exception to the policy is to be approved by CISO. Okay, so first you write requirement as it is. If you see, we have written close also over here to be more specific. Okay, okay. So now requirement have been is being identified. Next step is to write the factual position. So this is your observation. I have drafted this also to save the time. Okay. now the fact is that however we noted that information security policy has not been approved by the board of director it is approved only by ciso okay so this is the second part you need to write the fact that is your observation and third and uh, simple part is to write the source from which you got this fact so there is the evidence so evidence verify the information security policy version so and so dated so and so so we got this information from this particular policy if you see in this policy we can derive who has approved the policy so document approval is chief information security officer approved by chief information security officer okay now you need to also write the impact of the risk because of this particular audit observation so most of the time your observations are placed before the senior management 
they, they, they might not have technical expertise to understand the observation so you need to also mention the risk so what is the risk over here if board of directors are not appraised about this information security position of the organization they may not be aware about the actual position so board of director may not be appraised about information security position of the organization risk level now risk level will always be subjective as you need to consider the overall exposure so in this example let us consider level of risk as medium because this is non-compliance to internal processes and then your recommendation basically you need to write your recommendation as as required by the IS policy policy should be approved by board of director I hope I am clear about how to draft the audit observation it is simple first you identify the requirement okay then you write your observation and finally you write the source of evidence now let us continue with other data element of step one let us now move to our next data field that is latest version number this is only for information no audit relevance as such let us move to next data field latest approval date here you need to check whether policy is updated at periodic interval in absence of periodic review and updation new and emerging risk may not be addressed also we need to ensure that these approvals are obtained as per the periodicity defined in information security policy so first let us check what is the periodicity defined in policy okay so this is information security policy wherein policy requires this particular document to be reviewed on annual basis okay so now let us see whether it's being reviewed on annual basis or not currently we are in 2022 so this should have been last reviewed at least in 2021 oops we got our second observation this policy is not approved and reviewed in year 2021 okay so highlight this with a red color now let us quickly draft the audit observation so we'll be using same audit format so this will be serial number two domain name will be having same domain information security policy audit observation first part we need to define the requirement so for the easy reference we have already drafted the requirement as per clause 28 if you see as per clause 28 policy revision of information security policy version so and so policy should have been reviewed on annual basis so this is the requirement now you need to write what is the factual position so however we observe that information security policy was last reviewed in 2020 same has not been reviewed in year 2021 okay so again this is the second part third part is from where you got this information so information you received from this database and this database you validated from information security policy so this is the information security okay this is the information security policy and this particular date was available over here 
okay so after that there are no updates or no review so again you can write over here evidence verified is information security policy version so and so okay next part is you need to write the risk so what is the risk risk as such emerging and new risks may not be assessed and appropriately addressed as policies are not reviewed on regular basis whether this is high risk medium risk low risk again level of risk is subjective and considering the overall risk environment let us keep this as low so what is the recommendation this is simple we need to get this policy approved and reviewed on annual basis so as required by the information security policy policy should be reviewed and updated on annual basis okay so this is the recommendation now let us move to next data field okay whether appropriate classification is labeled on policy it is important to have classification on each document also classification criteria need to be documented in information security policy so this data we received from the audit and they are saying and they are claiming that they have classification scheme and same is applied to information security policy so classification scheme is also being defined in information security policy let us check okay so they have this defined classification policy so as per this policy if document is of policy nature it should be classified as confidential now let us check whether this particular document is classified as confidential or not how do we check document property okay so they have appropriately defined this as confidential so this is okay okay next data field is whether version history of the policy is maintained Version history help us to identify the existing clauses at any given point of time. Also, it helps to determine the new changes. So, our audit is claiming that version history of the policy is maintained. Let us validate this by checking information security policy. So, this is the information security policy and yes. This revision history version number it's already available in this particular policy okay so this is validated okay so these are the checkpoints that you need to validate while auditing the availability of information security policy Please note these are the basic checkpoints you may like to add your own checkpoints considering the overall risk environment of your organization In our next lecture we will discuss about step 2 that is auditing controls related to the application Thank you